This Oppo A96, now the new phone when the company launched a few days ago. Actually, I pre-ordered this one. This one comes in better design, good camera, large storage space, and big battery. The pre-ordering price of this phone now 159,900 Naira. Almost 100 Naira come out, make it be 160,000 Naira. So I go still say now 160,000 Naira. Welcome to Megalite Unboxing. And if now your first time to watch my video be this, you are super, super, and super welcome. So super yourself with the subscription button for button. May you click on and subscribe to my channel. The phone come inside this box when be like the A76 own. Inside the box, Oppo put the SIM remover first. The bumper case come follow. Now transparent flexible case. And I think this bumper case could be the only problem when I get with this phone. It they hard for the phone to enter because of the extra curve when they the top. Apart from that, this particular bumper case don't today come on. Infinix they use them, Techno they use them, and now Oppo. Something different for really day better. Next inside the box, now the phone itself. Wow, beautiful. The 33 watt fast charger, and finally, USB-C cable. I just so impressed with the design of the phone and in fact, you know if you make the back of this phone dirty or even stain them. It is resistant to fingerprint stain and it is resistant to scratch. Plus, the glowing nature of the body of the phone make the phone so perfect. Not to talk about how slim the phone be with all in well curved edges. The phone carry the fingerprint unlock for the right corner along with the power button. Unlike every other phone, when the power button will come out from the body of the phone so that person fit press them, this phone power button area curve go inside to allow the power button to align with the body of the phone. This one make the power button very convenient to press and make can just feel different. I like this idea though because it just makes sense. Top of the phone carry one microphone. The left side of the phone carry the SIM house and volume case. Why the bottom of the phone carry the speaker, charging port, another microphone, and audio jack. The back side of the phone carry two cameras plus flashlight. Come to the display, now IPS LCD with 90Hz refresh rate they use. The size of the screen is 6.59 inch, so it is wide enough for games and movies. Oppo A76, when the company earlier released, they used this same display too, and in price they ship past this phone. So, Vivid AMOLED display for no bad for this phone. The display they respond right on time without delay. The battery capacity is 5000 mAh with 33 watt fast charging. Oppo claims say this battery fit charge from 1% to 50% in 26 minutes. So I go just plug the phone and set my timer to 26 minutes and start charging from 42% and see what thing we will get at the end of the 26 minutes. And here we go. At the end of 26 minutes, the battery charged from 42% to 86%, which is additional 44% instead of the 50% when Oppo claim giving us 6% less than the amount when Oppo claim. The phone they support many sensors like accelerometer and compass. It they support 4G and the Chinese version of the phone they support 5G. And it still they support FM too, but you go only need to plug your earpiece to the phone before FM go work. The only problem here though be say earpiece no come with the phone. The phone still they support other sensors like GPS, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection. And as for the SIM card, it is support two SIM cards plus one memory card. The phone they try when it comes to audio output, not be only say the audio clear, but it still be very loud. The test from the audio recorder of this phone show exactly what in I did talk. The audio recorder gets three recording mode. The first one at the standard mode, which is the normal mode when you don't already know. I go record with this mode and then play the output. Oh. oh, oh.
The main work of this record, I'll be say, it not a filter any background noise, so it's just the normal like every other record that when any phone feel record. Then the second recording option when this phone get na the meeting mode. I will just record with the meeting mode and see how it go play. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, time to play. The purpose of this meeting recording mode actually now in case you dig far away from person when they talk and you won't record the audio and the audio they very very low. The microphone will pick that audio and then amplify them and make the audio louder. So if you listen carefully, you could find that say the recording of this meeting mode when I play them back, it is louder than the standard mode. And that will bring us to the last mode for the recording, which is the interview mode. I go just record in the with the interview mode now and then try and whoa 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 okay so time to try For this interview mode, it is very very suitable for somebody when they record for inside studio or when you did wear noise no day and perhaps you did interview person. This interview mode is very very important for that occasion because it will clear out every background noise even when the background is very very small so that you feel play or listen to the interview later or make them be very presentable to somebody in case you need them in the future. As you listen to those three records, you will find that say, the phone actually tried to cancel background noise and then keep the record very clear. So the speaker output makes sense, the sound they clear and no much background noise as I play each of those three voices when I record using the recording mode. I hope say Infinix and Techno go imitate this recording standard very soon because especially for techno sometimes when you record with their phones it, they get some kind of noise when they say not to declare like uh, some kind of twitter voice when not really really make the recording the up to standard so overall the performance of the phone makes sense especially if you consider say it gets large storage space the phone they use 8 gig ram and the 8GB RAM is expandable with additional 2GB RAM, 3GB RAM or 5GB RAM. That means if you choose to add extra 2GB RAM join the 8GB RAM or 3GB RAM join the 8GB RAM or if you choose 5GB RAM to add join the 8GB RAM to give you a maximum of 13GB RAM. So imagine say you they operate this phone with the 30GB RAM capacity. It means say the phone will ever hardly freeze or hang at any time, even when they play high-end games or you they operate applications when they say that they're very strong. And we have for them even more interesting at the fact that the ROM storage space now 256 gig ROM. I guess you will ever hardly need to use memory card for the phone because it almost get all the memories when you need for movies, applications, games, pictures, music. The memory will hardly ever run out, except really, 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 you they use a whole lot of memory space. The camera of this phone makes sense to me. With only 50 megapixel camera for back, you go get 10x zooming scale when still manage to retain clear image as you they zoom in. The video they support 1080p and 720p recording, but no 4K recording mode here. This small yellow face here will give you the option to retouch videos or pictures before you take the shot. But the truth be say, the back camera no bad at all, whether you retouch the video or not. Hello guys, now the back camera of the Oppo A96 might be this. Now 50 megapixel camera and really if I spend my 159,900 Naira to buy this phone, I'm not sure say I get any reason to regret. The phone because of the camera. The camera quality of the phone makes sense. Na, na fine camera and all the features when they say come with the camera just make the whole thing make sense and make and look splendid. 
The picture mode comes with some cool features like the sim enhancement mode when you fit turn off and turn on if you touch the AI icon for here. Then the filter mode when go allow you filter scene with different effects. And lastly, these two dots here go take you to some options when go allow you change your aspect ratio. Picture timer when go allow you small time to enter the camera scene after you tap the snap icon before the picture go actually snap. So if you set the timer to 30 seconds, you go see the theory for the snap button. And the same thing will happen if you set the timer to 10 seconds. And then you get the option to snap with 50 megapixel camera or not. Other camera modes when this camera they support now the slow motion, time lapse, expert or pro mode, and extra HD. One big reason why I like this camera is the autofocus and the manual focus of the back camera. You feel access and for the expert or pro mode. Here you will notice say if I adjust this bar here, I fit tell the camera to focus on the near or far object, then blow out the other part when I no want. Come to the front camera, you will still get fine picture with this 16 megapixel punch hole front camera. Take this video now for example. Hello guys, now the front camera of the Oppo A96 might be this and a 16 megapixel and I did record with 1080p recording mode right now. Really, you go agree say the camera makes sense. So those in a budget phone, I no will regret I spend 150, 9,900 naira for a phone when you get this kind of camera. So really, the camera of the phone makes sense. My view of this Oppo A96 BC is worth the price. Tell me what you think about this one for the comment section for bottom. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and see you for my next video.